Welcome to Shani's World. These are just my thoughts with a comedic side of humor. But if you're cool with your girl, go fool with your girl. Appreciate you for dropping by. Disclaimer. I saw this on the shade room and I said, well, let me share this with my followers because I've learned that we all come from different backgrounds. And in that time that we came from a different background, we all had something we were taught and we believed in that thing that we were taught because it came from somebody we trusted and we just knew it was Bible. So the question reads, what's the dumbest thing you believed as a child? Let's go down this rabbit hole, y'all. Let's go through these comments, baby, because there were so many answers and I was like, oh, I believe that too. Now, some of these are my first time hearing it. And if you have some, drop them in the comments. No wrong answers. Again, this is just something that was kind of told to us. And we just knew that this was the truth. And we just did this thing that they told us not to do or be careful doing something because this will be the result of doing it. So the first thing that somebody said was swallowing fruit seeds. Because it would cause that particular fruit seed to grow in your stomach. Have y'all ever heard somebody say, if you swallow a watermelon seed, you're going to have a watermelon in your stomach? I have heard that growing up, and it kept me from swallowing a watermelon. I'll be like, <laughs> real quick. <laughs> but as we see, sometimes you still swallow a seed. You ain't got no watermelon in your stomach. That's a baby. Claim on your taxes. Uh huh. I don't know if y'all used to do this as a kid where you would take your eye and either roll your eyelid up. Or you would make your eyes cross over and you pretend like you had a cross eye. Well, they say, or some people say, that if you kept your eyes crossing or flipped your eyelid up, that it would get stuck like that. I still was flipping my eyelid up and like blinking like this. And you can see the little pink beat. But I'm not really too good at crossing my eyes anyway or keeping them there. So I really didn't really too much worry about that. This other lady said the tooth fairy. Yeah, that was a lie we believe. Hell. Some of y'all been missing teeth and ain't got no money for those. So you should know. You should know. <laughs> you should have known the tooth fairy wasn't real. But it was cute to wake up and see that money under your pillow as a young child. Okay. Um, somebody said that coffee makes you black. Their grandma told them at the age of seven that coffee makes you black. Now, I don't drink coffee. So I don't know if that. It's something that resonates with you, but I just said, let me share it with y'all because we are family here. So everybody has heard something. <sighs> butter heals wounds. Now, I joke about that sometimes. I'm like, put some butter on it. I had some people's houses that I spent the night or friends that I grew up around and they did live by. If you got burned or scarred, or you, it really was more on for burns. I've never seen anybody get scarred. They put butter on it. But if you got burnt, like you hit your hand on the stove and you're like, they be like, put some butter on it. I don't know why. Because that butter didn't do nothing. It didn't do nothing. You still had that black skin that you had to put cocoa butter on. It peeled off a few days ago. It had you looking like a walking watermelon. But because the skin will be all pink and fleshy. Nah, don't put no butter on it. I heard it ain't good for you. <laughs> People out here just putting butter. You know the cost of butter. So somebody else said driving with the lights on in your car was illegal. Now what state you from? Because if I need my dome light, I need my dome light. I, I never heard of that, but that's what's up. <laughs> this person said, if you swallow gum, that it'll stay in your stomach for seven years. I have heard that um, if you swallow gum, it'll be in your body for a long time. They never told me the years, but they always said if you chewed gum, swallowed it, then that's what happened. So I've never really tried to swallow gum. My son understands now we're not giving him a go because he swallow it for no reason. He don't even, he, we've never told him about the buildup of it in your stomach. He just be, oh, I swallow that. <laughs> Put that in my face. Somebody said that you step on a crack, you break your mama's back. I used to do that little nursery rhyme, whatever it was. You step on a crack and break your mama's back. But I never really thought it would be true. Um, somebody said that. A woman could get pregnant by just kissing. Now, somebody just told you that because they didn't want you to start early as you were you were promiscuous to do. But no, because a lot of folks just be kissing now and they got they not pregnant. Now I tell you what gets you pregnant is letting a man give you a massage. You let a man give you a massage, it's gonna fall in. You're gonna be pregnant and you're gonna have a sister, sister. Yip -de -dee. They said if I roll my eyes, then they'll get stuck in the back of my head. I have heard that. I've heard that. No, no diss. Uh, let's see. The, my, if I put my hand on the Bible and I lied, I was going to hell. 
Yeah, it, it, it might not be exactly verbatim that, but if you lie, you go to hell. I, I definitely know that. If breaking a mirror, if you broke a mirror, it gives you seven years of bad luck. And I say, yeah, I don't, I don't know if seven was the number, but I remember if you broke a mirror, you definitely had bad luck. So, boy, you'll catch a mirror and, and be quick. Like, ah, ah, cut your hand off trying to make sure that mirror didn't break. <sighs> like I said, step on the crack, break your mama's back. We already talked about that one. Um... It was another one. Oh, this lady said that a shark can smell you in the ocean if you're on your minstrels and it'll attack you. I have heard something along those lines. Uh, but sharks don't give a damn what you want, baby. Sharks just hungry. Shark will tear you up even if you're not on your cycle. So just don't go in the water. Just don't go into water. Now, this was hilarious. It wasn't hilarious when it happened, but it's hilarious now as I read it. Y'all remember when it was about to be 1999 or better yet to 2000s and they told us that the world was going to end. So people started doing crazy stuff. Y'all remember that cult that drank that rat poisoning because they felt that there was going to be a new world order and we were all going to be gone. So everybody was on edge like 1159. Oh no, we ain't going to make it. And then we were still singing. Do, 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 do. And we was like, oh, we still here. We made it. I do remember that. <laughs> Let's see. Um, pointing at the stars cause styes in your eyes? I know a person right now. Now, a lot of people don't call it styes. Let me explain what that is. That's when you get that little bump either on the inside of your eyelid or right here on the top of your eyelid. And then sometimes people's skin be like puffed up like this because it's really a big bump on your eye. We call it a sty. I don't know what everybody call it. But I was told that was just because your pillows may have a lot of oil. And so when you sleep on that pillow or it's a dirty pillow, it just creates... Um, you know, bacteria, you know, your eye and then just swell up. But I don't, I've never understood what really causes it. I'm sure I could look it up, but I've never heard looking at a star in the sky will call a sty in your eye. Nah, I ain't never heard that one. But all of this is cute because we all held these like statements to be golden and we held it to be Bible. So you like really, really careful. Another one that had popped up was that if you went in the bathroom, cut off the lights and said Bloody Mary uh, multiple times, or a candy man multiple times, they'll come out and get you. Still to this day, I haven't shut no bathroom door and did that. I don't care if it's real or not. I'm not going to play with that side of me. Baby, I don't have time to be bringing out nobody that could kill me in, in, in whatever they did in those movies. This one said that if I was a good person and treated everyone right, that people would return the same energy. Baby, let me tell you something. These ugly ass people are selfish. So, I, even though I'm a good person, a lot of times... Um, People just take, I've learned that they receive, but they never give back. They never pour back into the cup. I wouldn't say change your character. I would just say put up your boundaries. So I still hold um, to that statement to be true because I'm going to always be a good person. But now I'm kind of realizing that a lot of people out here are just takers and abusers, manipulators, and narcissists. So you just have to put your boundaries up. Don't change you. Just change who you give out to. That's it. This person said the devil was going to pinch my toes if I acted bad. Now, that's something new. <laughs> that's weird. I ain't never heard nothing like that. Carrots give you better, better eyesight. That I heard that to be true. If you eat carrots, it does help strengthen your eyes. So, you might want to eat your carrots, ma'am. And a person that actually said they got glasses on. So, <laughs> you obviously ain't eating your carrots. <laughs> um, the people buried in the cemetery will get mad if you breathe when you drive past them because they couldn't and would turn would in turn haunt you now i only thing that i've ever heard about a cemetery is if you walk over somebody's plot then you're stepping on the dead so i do make sure that i walk behind the headstones because that's where the head will lie when they bury you and and if i accidentally step on somebody's grave so meaning they don't have the plaque yet i'm like oh, i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm so sorry but i don't know if it's true or not i just respect the dead so i don't want to walk over their plaque plus i'll be scared to walk over somebody's plot in the dirt that not settled and i don't fell through the bottom baby but i don't know about no driving and holding your breath stuff i've never heard that so, again, all of this, and this is the last one, and we're going to spin out of it. But this is the one to this day, and if you got your kids watching me and they hear this part, I'm sorry. But for those of us that never had a chimney growing up, and we were told to cook some cookies and leave some milk for Santa because he's coming down the chimney. And the other one would deals with babies come from the, 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 the stoke bird. The babies come from the sky. 
Baby, we used to believe some dumb stuff, baby. I mean, if you still believe in those things, it's cool. But like now, it's looking back, I'm like, why was I doing all that? And none of this stuff happened. But again, it's how people tell you stuff. I used to be extremely scared of Thriller, Michael Jackson Thriller. I was always like a class clown, so I always get in trouble for that. And my cousin would like make that my punishment was to watch Thriller. And I always thought every time I heard doom, 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 that somebody was coming to get me. And it, it was just a fear that he put in me. And it never, ever, ever, ever came true. But it wasn't until I got to like my teenage years. I'm like, these were just people in makeup and masks. But when you're a little, little kid, you would be like, oh my God, those eyes. Especially at the end of Thriller when he turned around, he'd be like, Raw. And I used to be like, ah. But now I can watch Thriller all day. Very much a classic, Michael Jackson. Thank you for that. But that's that, y'all. Like I said, I just want to share with y'all because we all come from different backgrounds. And we all believe different things. And you are still, some, some of these things that I said, you still like don't do it because somebody taught you not to do it. But I'm always intrigued to hear what y'all got to say your things were that you heard or what you still believe in because everybody was raised differently. There's no wrong answers. But either way, I'm just the messenger, baby. It's your girl, Shawnee B. If you're cool with your girl, go on food with your girl. Make sure you check out my awesome website. Yes, I ship across the 50 states, okay? But it's www.shawneebentertainment.com. Check out the finger. Option drop donations. No pressure to do either of the two. Because I see the likes, shares, comments. Man, it means the world to me. So I just want to tell you thank you for my lips to your ears. So you know it's real. And you know I appreciate your time. Because time is something you can't refund. But time is something you can appreciate. And then you can enjoy and embrace. So I always want to thank y'all for that. Hop in the comments, man. If you still have something that you live up to or just some type of you know, thing that does her family believe, drop them in the comments, man. It's just all fun and games because I've heard some things and some things I've never heard before. And it doesn't make it seem like it's wrong. I'm just intrigued to hear what we really believe to be true. But either way, some of these little quotes that our people told us help us be great people. <laughs> and they great, scary people at that. But either way, y'all, until next time, Next story, and I'm out this piece.